Hey, you remember that guy, Michael Flynn? He was uh, considered too insane to be in the military, and mm -hmm. so Obama fired him. And then he got really pissed about it, and he accepted a contract from uh, the Turkish government to uh, essentially kidnap a, um, a Turkish dissident in this country and uh, didn't carry it out. But meanwhile, was also... Um, uh, working on the transition team and advising Donald Trump uh, and became his national security chief. Uh, 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 yep. Um, the national security advisor. advisor. And um, and then had to resign because uh, all the agencies were like, this guy's um, completely out of his mind and also seems to be compromised. And then he went on to um, uh, basically become this sort of like QAnon figure? QAnon, yeah. Christian nath nationalist. And, well, I got some good news. He's now cut an album. Uh, this, <laughs> is, Jesus. this is conservative rapper Jimmy Levy. Who we've seen before, they have crazy facial hair. They're sort of like rich like re, uh, conservatives that are now rappers. And conservative rapper Forgiato Blow. Oh, uh, so and, uh, the only one I know to, at the top of my head in terms of conservative rappers, right? Yeah, he's he's he just he just churns these flocka. things out. He's a content machine. And of course, former National Security Advisor General Michael <laughs> Flynn. Let's play God. this now. Freedom from the shores of California. All the way down to the keys Only he will bring us closer When we fall to our knees I right, pause it. Because <laughs> I saw this. And I'm like, oh, this is funny. But wait, who made this? Like, I thought the whole thing was AI. Yeah, it had to be. Like, <laughs> the whole thing is AI. Because the voice is too robotic. But then you realize the it's just the most auto-tune that's yeah. ever been but applied why? to a human voice. See, auto-tune, I just don't <laughs> get. Like, yeah. aren't you just saying that we can't carry a tune? No, that's like, precisely it. But uh, typically, like, it doesn't sound quite so bad because yep. you can approximate the, the pitch a little bit closer, mm -hmm. so it doesn't require such a brute force, like, program. But, like, make it honestly, good. like... Right, they were like, give it, so give it to your all. They had, the Mac Pros, they had the Mac Pros absolutely <laughs> overheating trying to get... <laughs> but why, why, why do they even invite the people in? Like, just send us a picture, we'll do the clutch cargo thing. We don't actually need your voice because it doesn't... It sounds like a freaking... You know, right, because Alvin and the Chipmunks. Well, that's the thing is, autotune's kind of out of, uh, kind of out of vogue, out of vogue. Because now you can actually make make get somebody's singing voice from their speaking voice yes. using AI. Right? Yeah. And it's not great, but it's better than that. Well, so I know. Go back honestly, just make right. it. Let's go back. Do here, this is really do like what old Hollywood did in the 1940s and stuff. You know, Audrey Hepburn's not singing My Fair Lady. <laughs> they brought in somebody else who sang for her. Michael Flynn needs his. And I'm, now, I'm, now let me ask you this: There's a bunch of people. Double. In this, do do we know who all these people are, or are they just no. like rando? They're nuts. They're like right wing attention. They're seekers. only I only recognize a few of them, like the uh, Forgiato, Jimmy Levy, Flynn, and then there's also Siggy Flicker, who is a former Real Housewives of, housewife of New Jersey. Okay, who lives oh at, at who lives at Mar-a-Lago. And and um, how like uh, how was Laura Loomer not included in this? I don't understand. <laughs> that seems like a travesty. Maybe she has a solo. I don't know. That seems like a travesty. I mean, I don't think they could pay her the fee. But they something's this crazy, money. and they don't invite Lara Loomer. It is really offensive in many ways. I think it's anti I, I, <laughs> I'm just picturing like a NASA space station and everything's going wrong and there's fuses blowing and stuff just <laughs> trying to make Michael Flynn's voice sound somewhat uh, respectable. Now, let's just be clear. I just want to address uh, Tim Pool for a moment. We did not in any way change the audio quality to this. I just want to make that clear. Our machine broke. Our machine broke. Our... Uh, Hey, what did you skip ahead? Oh, we went back a little bit. Oh, okay, good. Surrender. We won't give up our freedom. From the shores of California all the way down to the Keys. Only he will bring us <laughs> when we fall to our knees. <laughs> and he'll Death lift us from the ground. <laughs> 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 That we never lost our freedom. It's in his But this auto tune, you can hear it. So bad. Yeah. yeah. Take yeah. all our money. I don't have it set right. But you can't have our soul. Alright, this guy actually sings. Down the 
But everybody else sucks. You cannot tell the difference between who's singing because it's so auto tuned. It all sounds like, like Daft Punk. You cannot tell. Like, <laughs> honestly, you close your eyes. You would not be able to know that it's a different person singing. There's, if I was an auto tune guy, I'd be like, please do please re-record that because you're making our technology look bad. Like the only guy that can sing is the only person it works for. Everybody else just sounds like Daft Punk. You know what? Honestly, all the auto-tune people who have any self-respect and who work in the music industry probably are like, I'm not touching this project. So yeah. they've got bottom of the barrel people. It's a brain drain in the uh, oh, I can read some of the industry. I can read some of the, uh, the credits here. We've got Trump Latinos, Marcus Rogers, Mises, Jessica Sutta, Angela Stanton King, Forgiato Blow, General Michael Flynn, <laughs> the 18th director of the Defense <laughs> <laughs> Big Nick, Liz Cronkin, Siggy Flicker, Zoe Levy, I, I, I assume that's Jimmy's uh, sister, James McCroy Taylor, King Bao, Bobby Take Nap Sauce, Conservative Ant, Stella Escobibo, oh, uh, Grant Stinchfield, okay, man, okay. we got to find yeah. the Stinchfield. Uh, you know what I, lo I love is somebody, is somebody wrote in, this is, it's their version of We Are the World, <laughs> and it is, it's We Are the World of Insane No, people. yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, basically. Iron Brown made fun of this on his uh, stream and, and cut in the Bob Dylan in the We Are the World, like, look inside this. <laughs> <Yeah. side. laughs> I keep going. This is wait. Bob Dylan like doesn't sing in that, right? He's just he mouthing just the words. At, yeah. Yes, yeah, that's funny. We will all stick together and we'll never surrender. We won't give up our freedom. Oh, oh <laughs> Episode. This is just so bizarre. It's like they're not even actually yeah, singing. I know. It's funny imagine them all lip syncing this to know. I just love how Flynn is basically a background character. Yeah. <laughs> Dancing to like a different song, it feels like. That you're telling me they don't have rhythms? I mean, I'm not saying this is someone who, honestly, well, you're not I, I am like medically, like I, I was like of a, a medical condition. I have so little uh, rhythm, and it's this is uh, impressive even to me. All right, keep going, keep going here. Let's. let's see. Stinchfield's on the way oh, left there. There he is. Sorry. Sorry, I just saw him, but I don't think he sings at all in this. Go to the go back and look at on the way left in the front row. There's I mean, Stinchfield. what's it take to not get a solo in this? <laughs> right. Maybe you just have too much self-respect. Oh wait, there he is. There he is on the way left. <laughs> way left. We just love it. Pause it. There. That's, that's him right there. There we go. <laughs> Zoom in. Far left. Uh okay. wait, Go ahead. He comes right. up again here. He seems mad. He seems mad. <laughs> He's literally clapping like Steve Martin in The Jerk. Like, it's like taking claps. four beats to go like, uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the, yeah, the harder he claps, the faster this will be over. <laughs> the sooner we can take lunch. Oh, boy. That is uh, unbelievable. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm on the verge of tears. It's so beautiful to see people coming together like that. For freedom. Yep. Freedom. I can't even. You can't even. No, you play. can't be the robot because no human's voice sounds like that. Like freedom. I can hang out. I never thought we'd have like a more kind of weirdo right wing nationalist song than what was that song that came out after 9 11 that everyone. That that, oh, it's we, just stick a boot up your ass. It's the American Way song. No, no. The one I had to sing at the at my own like second grade freaking. Uh, no, it, it's uh, it. Trump walks out to it all the time. Oh, wait, um. God bless USA. God bless, Lee, Lee yeah. Greenwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Um, so that, a few other things. Uh, Jessica Sutta, who's in this video, was a former member of the Pussycat Dolls, and <laughs> and, and uh, James McCoy Taylor uh, was all was on the, appeared on the Bachelorette a few years ago. Oh, 
Oh, oh that place. How did they get that guy? Wait, 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 I know who this guy is. He went by James Taylor on the show. Yeah. Oh, so it's He's James Taylor, but yeah. not, not the, the musical. Not the musical one. <laughs> he, was at, he was advertised as a musician on the show. I'm your handy man. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was the other guy. They One time in that show, they cast a n- guy who they knew had racist tweets no, on, on the season with the first back, Black Bachelorette yeah. for drama. So that shows pr- <laughs> pretty morally reprehensible. We're the best country in the world. <laughs> Only God, no other king. Let the mighty eagles soar. That was uh, George W. Bush's sitting attorney general. Sitting. This country's far he too can carry young. Yeah, he doesn't need auto tune. Yeah. Nope. We have we have one more Stinchfield appearance here. Okay. Let's get final thing of this. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, they get to give everybody. Bobby takes naps. So. I'm a comedian and a political commentator. I love that. Wait, wait, wait. Go back. Go back. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Go back. It, there's a CNN commentator on there? No, OAN. 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 O-A-N. Yeah. No, wait, not wait. CNN. No, wait. Go, go. Oh, OAN. I see. Okay, sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no, go back. Yeah, he really loved, he was really happy to be there. Um, I, I love having to put that I'm both a comedian and a political commentator. <laughs> like, I can't really rely on one of those, but mm-hmm. both of them together, I'm the uh, Tell me dual about it. Threat. it was rough for a long time. I had to, uh, had to do that. <laughs> a dual uh, threat, they say. Well, it also it forgives you the singing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, it, they, what they really should have put is like, not a singer on all of these people, <laughs> even <laughs> casually. If he didn't have the uh, text of his uh, Grant Stinchfield host at Real America Voice, that would be a great still for like a meme. Because, <laughs> like, I mean, honestly, you know when Bernie did that spoken word thing like three or thirty oh, or dope. forty years ago or whatever, he had the self awareness to know he's not going to go out there and try to belt it out. But uh, with yeah. um, with auto tune, you know, honestly, where's everyone? Where's the bootstraps mentality for these uh, for these right wingers if they can sing? Now anyone can participate in singing. Yeah, everybody gets an award. Yeah. Oh my God. What? You get a medal?